Hi guys, it's Tiffany here at Mini again. Um, I know last week we talked about how we're going to do these live videos every week, so we're starting again today, Tuesday at 11.30, just like we mentioned. Um, today we're going to talk to Kai from Whiskey about what's going on at the dealership and some fun stuff that they want to show us. So before we get started, just to let you know, make sure you follow us, click the little follow at the bottom of the screen so that you can keep up with all of our live broadcasts. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, um, and just kind of keep up with the dealership. So here. Hey, what's going on? Happy Tuesday to everybody. Uh, hopefully vacation's going well. So uh, I think it's important when people um, buy cars and do business anywhere that they feel some kind of connection, you know, to where they're spending their money. And uh, I tell people all the time when they purchase from us, whether they service here, uh, whether they come in for parts, that um, this is a choice that we all made to work here. So it was like the next best thing from starting your own business. Um, everybody here is kind of rooted in the community, has some ties to the community, and um, you know wants to be here, which is important. We didn't we didn't work at this dealership by default or because we had to. So just kind of cool, and that's something different. Um, my sales manager, uh, Alex, uh, he's off on Tuesdays, but uh, Alex actually went to school in Boston. Uh, he's a classically trained musician and um, decided to get into the automobile business and spend some time with Honda and BMW and then chose to be a sales manager here when the dealership opened two and a half years ago. Uh, Katie, uh, my finance manager, uh, like everybody's mom. You know, she's like the person that keeps everything tied together, keeps everybody on, on track. But uh, she's from the South Shore, uh, lives in Hanson, and um, used to be in service here for BMW and for many, and now is our finance manager. Uh, her kids work here, you know, her, her kids are our kids when she comes by, so. Uh, our used car manager, Luigi, uh, his dad's actually a shop foreman for BMW Gallery in Norwood. Uh, and he's been with, I've known Luigi since he was coming to the holiday parties at our last job, you know, since he was a teenager. So now he's married, you know, lives in Rockland, and uh, is local to the area and to the dealership. So I don't think anybody's sort of planted his flag, you know, more than that guy has. But um, Maxwell uh, is from the area. I think Maxwell lives in Randolph now and um, has family locally, uh, originally from Mid-Atlantic. He's from Maryland and from Virginia, but uh, has family up here in Boston and chose to be a mini genius. Now he's in sales, but uh, chose to be a mini genius. Uh, when the dealership opened two and a half years ago. So guy totally like uprooted his life to start a new career here. And uh, Brendan, uh, one of our other salespeople, uh, he was formerly our genius and now is, uh, being, is very successful as a salesperson. Uh, he's from Milton originally and uh, now lives on the South Shore. And uh, he's like super, super car buff, like loves to talk cars all the time. Just went to training last week with a new countryman in California. Like, you know, just sending us videos left and right and uh, renting, you know, sports cars. And, uh, but definitely all about being from the South Shore and definitely all about, you know, working here at this dealership. Um, Tawana is uh, one of our other salespeople. Um, she's from Boston, from Dorchester. Uh, family lives in Braintree now. And uh, we had to twist her arm to be a salesperson. But uh, she's had a lot of success in the two and a half years that she's been here. And obviously being from Braintree, she's only 10 minutes away. And uh, it's the only sales job she's ever had and only dealership she's ever been a salesperson at. And uh, hopefully starting off a great career. And then, um, and then myself, um, from Boston my whole life. Um, parents still live in Dorchester. Uh, live in Quincy now. And this is only the second job that I've had. In, 14, 14 years, this is the second dealership I've worked at. So I uh, definitely like, gave up a book of business at my last dealership to start a new life here on the South Shore, and start a new life here at South Shore Mini and BMW, so. What made you pick Mini? Um, just a very fun brand, you know, like BMW is great and uh, can sometimes even be more profitable, but it doesn't have the fun and the passion that Mini has. Like no one comes in to buy like a five series BMW and you know, wants to talk about what color the mirror caps are, or, uh, you know, they don't come back from test drives like giddy and laughing and uh, excited about, you know, ordering their 5 Series. They just want, you know, black or white or silver and how much is the monthly payment. So um, people can spend half as much money or a quarter as much money on a, on a Mini and have 10 times more fun doing that purchase. And that passion from the customer and that passion from the employees is really what got me to, you know, to, to leave BMW and work with Mini. So really happy you know that we made that choice
And have you been here since they opened two and a half years ago? Yeah, I've been here since we opened two and a half years ago. We were here before we had cars in the lot, before the pavement was poured. Um, yeah, it was. It all came together right there. Got whiskey on Halloween. Say hi. Halloween 2014, and then started a job here a week later. So, um, yeah. So whiskey's been here the whole time whiskey's too. Whiskey's been here from the beginning. Yep. This is all he knows. This is. He's, we're, we're, he's, this is this is home more for him than it is being in my apartment. So <laughs> he's here 10 hours a day and just sleeps at home. That's where he just lays his head. And, and uh, what do you love about the dealership? Like, what's your favorite part about this dealership in particular? Uh, definitely like the family atmosphere. I mean, again, like outside of starting your own business, um, to feel like everything you do has like a everything you do has a way of like coming back around so you know good sales treatment leads to good service treatment leads to people spending money in parts and accessories um, with such a sorry about that we had some poor wi-fi connection but you were saying good, with good such service a, yeah with such a small staff inevitably you end up having to like work a lot hand in hand with other people in the dealership so you know i'm always uh, asking tom if he needs me to help him move cars out of the service department or I may be off on a Sunday and my customer comes in and Tawana ends up helping them. Or um, I had a customer on Saturday who came in to look at ordering the new Countryman and they met Barbara, our receptionist at the auto show. Like what other dealership sends their receptionist to the auto show to answer questions because that's how much she knows about the product. Right. So she, you know, obviously represented the dealership well, you know, while she was at the auto show in Boston and now has customers coming in saying that they've met Barbara, our receptionist at the auto show. <laughs> you know, the, our, she also goes to Minis on Top and does Mini Takes the States, which is a cross-country drive and uh, goes to all the uh, charity events and promotional events, you know, on the South Shore and around Eastern Massachusetts. And that's our receptionist. And people, so people who work here love Mini. Yeah, and they love doing stuff with Mini. And yeah, so definitely yeah. like the camaraderie, the team play, and um, literally it's like everybody here is a pilot has you know a, a steering wheel and kind of needs to help the ship you know fly and maneuver and stay on the right path so right I can't think of another business that you don't own where um, where you have so much invested in what goes on here on a daily basis we do have a question so people want to know people want to know how did whiskey become the dealership dog how did whiskey get so famous oh we got really lucky he was uh, I used to work at another dealership and I gave a breeder a deposit for the dog and I had everything all set up with uh, babysitting, and my roommate had a different day off, <laughs> and we had it all taken care of. Yep. And then um, I took a job here, so I was like, oh, geez, you know, what am I going to do now? What kind of idiot gets a brand new nine week old puppy right as you're starting a new retail <laughs> job? And Avery Trumbo, who runs the dealership uh, here at South Shore BMW and Mini, uh, he, he's, he just came to me one day and he was like, hey, we told Mini that we might get dogs for the showroom, kind of joking. And he said, you know, why don't you bring them to work every day? Let's see how it goes. So it just turned out that the dealership was going to be the best way to babysit whiskey as opposed to, uh, you know, paying for a dog walker or leaving them home every day. So we got a lot of luck involved there, but, but it, it seems to be working out. So he likes it, he likes coming in. And every time I walk out the door at home, he thinks he's jumping in the car to go with oh. me somewhere. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you want to show us around the dealership just a little bit? Yeah, uh, we rearranged the cars a little bit in the showroom. We've got uh, one of the new countrymen here in the showroom, a green one with a white roof. So this is the new length and size of the car. It's a little bit bigger than the previous generation, but we've got that. We've got a new club in the new showroom. Um, we still have the same decorations on the walls, but we'll do some spring cleaning and kind of change things over a little bit. You know, so if I am a customer who's never been here before, what is something that I have to see in the sales ship right now, today? You have to see. Right um, now, today. Like which car? People always which... love, if you haven't been in the dealership, people always love, because we probably get more people coming in for service for their first time, mm -hmm. as opposed to coming in to buy a car. Okay. But people love the fact that you can drive past the main entrance in the building, um, especially when the weather's bad, turn the corner and you can pull right into the service department. So there's a green arrow there. And you pull close to the door and the door goes flying up and you can pull right in, which is really nice because on a bad weather day, you don't have to strain yourself outside. You can pull right into the service. It's obviously like quiet, like climate controlled. Um, you don't have to park your car outside and then hand the keys to someone. Um, 
So if it's right raining, yeah. you're not going to get soaked when you pull in here. Yeah. You're not gonna... I mean, I've been to other dealerships where there was literally like a line outside to pull your car in or you had to park at a meter or you had to park in a parking lot and then drive inside. So being able to pull right in and then when someone pulls in, one of the attendants, uh, whether it's uh, our valet Elvis or, or our sales manager Tom or our service manager, uh, our service consultant Kevin, um, they'll come over right out to you and greet you and ask you why you're here or if you're here to see anybody in particular. Okay. And obviously, uh, the shop is immaculate. We do all the work here at the dealership. So we do loaner cars by appointment and people are always surprised by that too. Yes, you get a loaner car when you come in for Mini Coopers and we'll get you substitute transportation of some sort if we can't figure something out. So, But the service department and... Uh, how efficient they work is probably the thing that people are most impressed with if you're coming here for the first time. And we do everything, so we're like we're close. So obviously, you can buy your car service. We're a dealership. Yep. You can get your car service. We do routine maintenance. We do. You know, unroutine maintenance. Unroutine maintenance. <laughs> you don't really want to think about it, but if you have to. Um, and our service department is really great. They are. Our techs and, are really uh, knowledgeable. And Gallery Automotive has a auto body shop too, so if you ever need a referral, we can literally right down the street, we have a company uh, that's owned by Gallery that does, uh, that does all the body repairs for the vehicle. So we can help you out with that too. What if, what if I'm not looking to service my car right now, and I'm not looking to buy right now, but I love Mini and I just have some questions about it. Who's a good person to go to for that? Oh, we've had plenty of people come by, Luke. I mean, not everybody, especially with Mini, because the product can be complicated. Most people that come in aren't ready to make a decision, you know, day one. So, obviously, when someone comes over and says, welcome to Mini, how can I help you? The first thing you get is people saying, I'm just looking. So, um, but yeah, um, in sales, we have uh, Tawana, we have Maxwell, we have Brendan, we have myself, Kaif. And uh, we're all here pretty much five or six days a week and more than happy to answer any questions that people may have about the product or upcoming product. Um, many, most manufacturers you know, change their cars every couple of years. Mini has completely changed all of their cars over the last two years. So we have everything that uh, we sell has been 100% redesigned in the last 24 months. So there's really, I don't think there's another manufacturer that can say that, that their cars have been completely overhauled. And we still have more stuff coming. We've got. Um, hybrid cars coming later this year. Um, the Countryman's our most popular vehicle, and that's just hitting the ground now. So, plenty of reasons for people to come in and ask questions. The Clubman was redesigned a year ago, so another full size vehicle with all wheel drive and a lot of first time uh, mini owners and people that haven't been exposed to the product recently have been stopping by to check things out. So, it's a good idea to just come and kind of hang out and ask your questions or call and ask your questions. and. There's going to be someone here who will answer them for you. Yeah, no matter what. absolutely. I mean, that's kind of what we do with Mini. It's not like most brands where you just come in and just pick a blue one or a white one or a black one. We understand that there's some product knowledge stuff that needs to go along with it. And working on the website and seeing different cars at your local grocery store or your local shopping mall, that can be a little overwhelming because there's so many different variations. But that's our job as salespeople and our job as uh, service employees to kind of uh, translate it into you know, words and meanings so people can understand it, make sense of it, and then make an informed decision. So you love Mini. Is that what you're saying? I do. You love Mini. Jeez, why do you want me to say the L word? Fine, I, don't I know. love Mini. I love Mini. God. I, do you love Mini? You know, we have trouble sharing our emotions as guys. <laughs> you know this, right? Yeah. You're not afraid. You're not afraid. So, no, we, we love Mini. We love uh, South Shore Mini specifically. And uh, Gallery Automotive, we're happy to be here. So uh, definitely we have a nice little family built in. Come meet our team. Come meet Kaif. Come meet Whiskey. He doesn't seem too interested today. I think he's always interested. I think he's just playing hard to get. Take us out of here, Whiskey. Okay, so we're going to go for the day, but make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Keep up with all of the things that are going on in the dealership, all the things that Kaif wants to teach us about Mini. And if you want, come in and say hi. We're going to do some man on the street stuff maybe next week. We're going to do some commonly asked questions that people call in about all the time for service and sales. We're going to do some new product, you know, stuff, you know, tire pressure monitors and cars that park themselves and backup cameras and lane departure and cars that stop themselves on the highway. So we'll do some cool stuff over the coming weeks to kind of show you some of the things that are special about the brand and about the dealership. And if you have anything you want to see because you love your Mini or you want to come show us your Mini, 
we're happy to see it. So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Say bye, Whiskey. Bye.